Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's games announced for the third week of November, so let's get started. The Serious Sam Collection will bring three games along with it. Serious Sam HD The First Encounter, Serious Sam 2 The Second Encounter, and lastly Serious Sam 3 BFE, while also including The Legend of the Beast and Jewel of the Nile expansions. Alongside the games, a ton of visual updates, tweaks and balancing has been done. On top of that, the option to team up with 4 players and local co-op to take down seemingly endless waves of enemies is also included. Sam is a 6 foot canine detective with a love of justice. Max is a hyperkinetic rabbit with a taste for mayhem. Together they're the freelance police out to save the world and Sam and Max save the world remastered. This entry will offer new enhanced graphics, widescreen aspects, new musical tracks, new puzzles, new controls for modern consoles, and tons of quality of life changes. You have 15 minutes to prepare before the Dark Walker begins stalking you through the map. Find enough supplies, manage your hunter's cold and mental conditions to ensure your survival, and once he's set loose, the closer he gets near you the series of disturbing events will take over and your mental stress will begin to set in. Avoid close contact at all costs but most importantly, survive the stalk in the long dark Escape the Dark Walker, releasing this December. Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead was finally confirmed for a November 19th release. Merging the classic bridge constructor formula with the popular post-apocalyptic world of AMC's The Walking Dead. Join a group of survivors as they fight against hordes of undead walkers by building bridges and other constructions through a bleak landscape and ruined structures. Sharon the Wanderer, the Tower of Fortune, and the Dice of Fate is confirmed for a December 2nd release on Nintendo Switch. On top of a new music collection, new UI displays, the rescue option where you can save players who died in a dungeon using online components, and multiple new dungeons. Players will also receive several new story elements, never available previously in any of the Sharon games. Inspired by rel classic shooters like Virtual Cop, Time Crisis and Crisis Zone, Sniper Hunter Scope is all about shooting and the will to live. Tackle the mission-based single-player story with a modern cover shooter tactic sprinkled within, or just try any of the handful of mini-game modes like target, timed, and even zombie mode options, fully supporting both HD rumble and motion controls. Out of Space Couch Edition is a couch fun focused strategic game with short sessions that are welcoming to all ages. Each match starts with a procedurally generated spaceship that demands planning and teamwork to become clean and comfy during your entire journey. Do your best to gather resources and recycle trash while taking care of invading aliens and build new techs to ease your life wherever you can. Beat Me is a physics based multiplayer brawler with a comedic set of fantasy characters in a wide variety of environments, offering 6 player combat challenges with your friends and local or online multiplayer. Enjoy over 100 or so interactive diverse levels that change the dynamics and the feel of the game. Collaboration is key in stagehands. Put your team to the test by coordinating and time managing properly while dealing with different environmental conditions, sabotages, and challenges. Explore the dynamic theater world and show off your platforming, jumping, climbing, and acting skills all in one swoop. Mental Mind is a top-down roguelike game that lets you control the mecha assembled from the scraps of the enemies you destroy. Once you get your unit moving, equip it with skills, and balance the electricity, shield, and max output accordingly to reach the proper efficiency. Then put it all into motion when demolishing enemies whose scraps could be your very next upgrade. The heavily comedic sci-fi party co-op roguelike Typhoon Space Sim, Space Lines from the Far Out, is dipping its toes in many genres to fulfill a 60s-like feel to the space chase in a comedic fashion. Survive a track of interstellar proportions either alone or via co-op with up to 4 players. Test your metal with a wealth of bloodthirsty encounters and a rich absorbing lore. In order to succeed in the hostile world of Mornia, players will have to master combat and make the best of their opportunities. Improve your character's gear through quests, perks, runes, and looting rooms that were once filled with enemies when Morbid the Seven Acolytes releases December 3rd. The first person survival horror game Apparition has you finding yourself in the middle of a haunted forest in the dead of night. Use your camera and audio recorder to first prove the existence of the supernatural all while putting yourself in danger, but also then communicating with the dead by any means necessary. A daily train commute gone wrong is the premise of Speed Limit, a retro style shooter where everything is a one take, non-stop arcade blast that never slows down. 
run, dive, fly, die, and then do it all over again. From the moment you click play, the game is relentless in its pursuit to kill you in any chance it gets. Tackle 10 visually stunning universes to explore in Labyrinth City. Play as Detective Pierre, tasked with solving puzzles and retrieving a stolen heirloom. Each of the 10 giant levels has over 100 hidden objects within it, with some surprising minigames hidden within. Each NPC has their own story, and searching for the right clues may be more work than you expect. Ruin of the Reckless is a 2D action roguelike with a focus on fast-paced melee combat, speedy movement, and cooperative play. Capture the feel of a 16-bit while crushing hordes of enemies, upgrading your weapons, and leveling your hero. Explore randomly generated towers, each with their own unique twist on the classic gag to keep everything feeling fresh. Shadow Dropped on the eShop Replica is an interactive novel game played through a cell phone and social life. You're the owner of an unregistered phone looking for evidence of terrorism by hacking into the government's accounts and search for clues and proof. At the core of Landfix Odyssey is a classic 2D platformer. Larry is a beer-loving average guy who spends his days binge-watching TV, unknown to the evil plans of Landfix's CEO to take over the world. Will Larry take up the mantle of a hero and travel through the land on an adventure to rid of the scourge attempted to take over the world? Only time will tell. Nosferatu Lilinor is an action game that includes puzzle-like elements by learning the movement and timing of your enemies. In a world ravaged by vampire hunters, a young vampire girl named Lilinor travels in search for a new castle. Upon crossing a forest, all sorts of fiendish creatures emerge, which she must now fight for her life. Azul has lost everything in life, his status, his honor, and the woman he loves. Now he's set to face a threatening force encroaching the kingdom with nothing but his trusty sword and steel sword story. An action brawler with an intuitive set of controls where carefully calculated attacks are the only way to break your enemy's defenses. Dungeon of Nazareth is a classic style action platformer to a T. A mysterious tomb has been found on the edges of a great kingdom. You. Once a common adventurer, have taken an exceptional reward in order to investigate it and put the rumors of an upcoming curse to rest. Master the elements in the stealth game Wildfire. Use your elemental powers to start fires, freeze the water, and move the earth as you outsmart your superstitious enemies in a mischievous 2D manner. Take back your home and rescue the captive villagers along the way while manipulating the environment to help you harm your foes. A young girl equipped with a magical hat must take on the witch's labyrinth in order to take back her brother's body, stolen by the witch herself, and the witch and the 66 mushrooms, an exploration style 2D action adventure game where you use a variety of weapons as you traverse a platforming set of stages in a full pixel art world. Kana Quest is a puzzle game about learning Japanese set to release next year. The developers are hoping to teach gamers some real-world skills by matching phonetic letters and learning the basics of a language, offering over 300 puzzles while still being its very own challenging game. Join the alien pest control specialists that read of the Star Wars Academy's problems in Gunpig Firepower for Hire, a top-down Twitch shmup offering classic arcade action with over 8 levels and tons of bonus stages where quick swapping is the key to dispose your enemies in a timely manner. And that's what the Game of will be covering this week. Next Gen is here and the Nintendo Switch shells just keep on trucking. I hope all of you were able to catch a glimpse of those sales figures that MPD put out recently where Nintendo is breaking their own records back to back each and every month. Black Friday is almost here and Nintendo has a very appealing Mario Kart bundle for $300 that's sure to sell out rather easily. On a side note, I would love to know if any of you are planning or already picked up any of the next gen consoles and which one do you go for? This is a mainly Nintendo Switch focused channel, but I own both next gen consoles already and I'm a big proponent of owning as many gaming systems as possible to never miss out on the game. Exclusivity has become a major selling point for Sony so purchasing a Sony console has become almost mandatory if you're a big fan of single player focused games. Nintendo obviously has a massive stable of first party series that are too good to pass up. And with the recent wave of acquisitions, Microsoft was building a roster of games that will be tough to compete in just a few years. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!